Steam, as you might know, is one of the best and most popular gaming platforms in the world, as long as we're talking about PC gaming, but it's not perfect and it does run into errors at times. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're talking about the Steam's file validation and reacquiring issues that you might run into at times. Now, Steam generally isn't known for throwing up errors in your face, but if it does throw this one, the first thing and the first thing that you're going to have to try is disabling your mods. Now, the exact steps I can't tell you because, well, different games have different sort of mods that they use and that they install. So you're the one who installed the mods. You're the one who needs to figure out how to remove them. But once you've removed all the mods and got the game back into its base shape, that's when you should try validating files. Moving on, another step that you can take for this is to make sure that you just force restart Steam. Now, how do we do that? The easiest method is to just right click the Windows Start button and head over to Task Manager. Now in here, what we're going to do is just simply search for Steam. As you can see, these are all of my Steam processes. I'm just going to select this, right click and then click on End Task. Once you're done with this, go ahead and close the task manager and now you can restart Steam by simply searching for it or double clicking on the desktop icon, so on and so forth and launch it. This just freshens up Steam for a little bit and makes sure that any errors because of corrupt files or caches are weeded out. The next step is to of course verify your game files. How do we do this? Well, the first thing you do is launch Steam and uh, not run into a horrible bug like that. But let's head over to my library and let me bring this here. So uh, use any game that you're uh, having the problem with. I, of course, only have one game installed from my entire library. So I'm going to use that. Here's what you have to do. Right click the game, head over to properties, go to installed files in the window that appears. And then you can just click on the verify integrity of game files button to make sure that uh, all of the game files are installed correctly. And if anything is missing, Steam will already go ahead and download it. Next up is to check the Windows firewall. Sometimes the Windows firewall can prevent Steam or your games from going through them, which can throw up errors like this, because if Steam is trying to validate a file, it needs to connect to the internet and the firewall may be blocking that. So let's, uh, the first thing that we're going to have to do is press the start menu and search for firewall. Now we are going to click on this option that says allow an app through Windows firewall. Go ahead and click to open this. And now you can see a bunch of these different apps that are allowed through your firewall. So if I scroll all the way down, as you can see, Steam is enabled from both public and private firewalls. If this isn't the case, just click on this change settings button and make sure that both of these boxes are checked. Once you're done, go ahead and click OK. Restart your system and just try running Steam again and it should work fine this time. Last but not least, what you can do is you can try flushing your Steam data. How do you do this? It's very easy. Press Windows key plus R to open the run prompt. Go back, type in steam colon uh, slash slash flush config. This uh, command will be put on the screen and in the description below so you can copy it from there. Once you're here, press enter, the window will disappear and that's it. Your steam uh, data has been flushed so you can now try force restarting steam as we did in the second step and that should fix your problem. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.